goes for us, right, Mike? Yep, yeah, that's <laughs> right. You have to uh, just kind of start stretching and get this day started. So you don't have to wait until the new year to start working about your fitness, uh, worrying about your fitness, starting your fitness resolutions. Personal trainer Roxy Marmaduke joins us now with some exercises to help us tone our flabby telly, tummies that we have accumulated during the holiday season, right? That's because right. I think a lot of us kind of overindulge uh, during this th during the holidays. That's so right. morning to you. Good welcome morning. to the show. Thank you very yeah. much for having me. I Absolutely. really appreciate it. Uh, okay, so what are we talking about? How can we tone our tummies? Well, there's a couple of exercises I want to show you that's not just necessarily crunches and okay. stuff. Um, especially using the stability ball to really work the core of your body. I think that's really important to get off the mat and start using a ball. And, and just regular crunches or sit-ups can kind of be straightened on the back too, right? Right. So this actually helps stabilize our back a little bit, correct? Right. right. And actually it'll be, it's, it's a little bit harder than being on a mat because you're having to work all those stabilizer muscles. Okay. So, so let's, can let's I show you a couple of exercises? Absolutely. Let's show okay. us. And right. these balls, really, you can get these at, you know, Target, Walmart, right. wherever, and they're relative, I mean, what, five, ten bucks max? Right, right, and they can go all the way up to thirty, forty dollars, but Perfect. you do get what you pay for, but, you know, you can always start off with just a five dollar ball from Walmart and see if you use it. And they have different sizes, do they? Right, right. Okay. The shorter you are, the smaller of a ball that you'll need. Like, for me, I'm 5'4", I need a 55 centimeter one, goes all the way to 65 and 75 centimeters for my Let's get it. Ah. Get it. Get it. Got it, got it, got okay, it. okay, let's show some, uh, okay. show some exercises here. All right, so this first one is a V-sit. I'm going to show you kind of a, a modification first. You just sit okay. on the ball, walk it forward, lean back a little bit, hold it into a hundreds pose here. Um, now, to make it harder, you can actually twist from side to side here. Now, this is a great opportunity to grab a, a bag of flour, you know, some, some weights, really anything around the house to really get a good twist going. Now you can really get an extra twist going here by doing a V-sit with a sword in pocket. So you're really extending the arms and getting an extra work on the obliques and okay. then also the transverse abdominis. Perfect. And the transverse abdominis is really important because it really holds all of your organs in your body. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's really okay. important to keep that very, very And which strong. muscles are those, like if you're looking... Are those the ones right here? The transverse abdominis is actually deep inside. Oh, so you can't is. really see it, but it kind of holds everything together. Oh, so it's very important. Okay. Obliques kind of give you that nice hourglass shape. Right, mm -hmm. right. Okay, what other exercises okay. can we do? And these are so simple. Yeah, very simple. This next one is a plie. Um, you can do it with a ball or without a ball. You basically just tuck the butt under, um, take it down, and you just do a simple twist here side to side. It's another so great you're kind of getting in that squat position. Yeah. So if you're already working your abdominals area, exactly. and you're not doing this, you're getting the obliques too, right? Exactly. You just okay. want to make sure to keep that butt tucked under because a lot of people have a tendency to stick to out. Stick it out. You don't yeah. want to stick it. You want to stick it under. Stick it under. And keep your knees above or don't push them forward and over your, right. your feet, right? Right. And, and it's great for your inner thighs, great for your legs. You get more bang for your butt, more bang for your time. Right. Because you're burning more calories by getting a good twist. And just by on. sitting there, you can already feel it if you have the correct form. Right. Right, exactly. Okay, one more, one more exercise. Okay. Do you have one more class? Yes, I do. This one, this one's a hard one. Uh -oh. Okay. This is an elbow plank on the stability ball. I hope okay. I don't roll off. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, you just hold it here. It kind of gets your heart rate up, and you can add on by doing an alternating work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you can make this a little bit easier by doing it on the floor, or by just um, putting your arms like this on the floor. Right, on the floor. Okay. Um, I'll show you that real quick. And what makes it harder on the ball versus the floor? The fact that you get to balance yourself? Right. It's all the stability. I mean, you can see me shaking as I'm on this. So as I'm shaking, I'm weight working all those stabilizer muscles. You're you training when you're shaking. Can you imagine like, what <laughs> I feel like? Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely toughy. <laughs> okay, how can people reach you? Um, KnoxvillePersonalTraining.com. Okay. Email me, Roxy, at KnoxvillePersonalTraining.com. And check out my bikini boot camp, uh, triple threat classes starting January 9th. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. So you don't want to miss it. Very cool. And the number <laughs> obviously right there at the bottom of your screen as well. High five. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Happy holidays. Yeah, you too. Happy yeah, thank you very much. Stay with us. We're coming back with more after this. It's now 819.